All right, so check this out. If you've driven on I-75 in downtown Detroit over the past few days, there's a good chance you've looked over and said, what in the world is that? Right. Take a look. This huge new structure across the freeway from Comerica Park has gone up in no time. So we decided to send our Tim Pamplin to go check it out and see what's going on. Well, that's what everybody's talking about. That big stage right up there has people turning their heads from Drone 4. You get a better view of it with the city in the background. This is the site of the old Brewster Douglas Holmes. And this event, well, it's going to be massive. This is the Motor City. It makes total sense for us to do this here. I'm so deep. And this is the Global Afro Nation Festival. It's been a, long week on me. a festival celebrating black culture. And the location is perfect. This site that we were doing it, the Brewster Douglas site, means so much. There's so much heritage and history here. We've had Diana Ross who stayed here, Smokey Robinson that stayed here, Stevie Wonder, so many greats. So it just makes total sense for us to do this here right now, this weekend. Or 10 footer and a five footer. For the last couple of week, crews from around the world have been setting up the stages, the vendor booths, and everything it takes to bring a global cultural festival into downtown Detroit. We want everyone to be involved. It's a family show, so your, your kids can come, your grandma can come, the, the, the hipsters can come, anyone can come. We are open and we want everyone to embrace this African culture. You can add me to the hipster granddad crowd. So back from Drone 4, this is their only stop in North America this year. It all started in 2019 in Portugal. The festival kicks off Friday and then gets into high gear Saturday and Sunday. How cool is that? Tim Pamplin, Local 4. It's going to be so big. I ran into some people downtown at Pink who were talking about how they were going there. They came here two days early. I'm so surprised they're so excited. Detroit is so connected to music and culture. Right? It's inspiring. Mm -hmm. All right.